All right, so the season hasn't even started yet, and it feels like frustration's up to here already for some of the fans. In the course of 24 hours, the Jaguars traded Yannick Ngakwe, their most accomplished defensive player. Then today they waived Leonard Fournette, one of their most accomplished offensive players. So the big question, where does the team go from here? News for Jags sports anchor Cole Pepper spoke with Mark Brunel about what comes next. So, Cole, there's a lot of Jaguar fans just shaking their heads. There are a lot of people of all kinds shaking their heads over what's happened with the Jaguars lately. With the trade of Leonard Fournette, the Jaguars now have only six starters remaining from the team that nearly made the Super Bowl less than three years ago. Miles Jack, Avery Jones, Cam Robinson, Brandon Linder, A.J. Can, and the kicker Josh Lambeau. That's it. So what can we expect from the Jaguars this year? Well, I would keep your expectations low. Remember, the Jaguars are running a new offense this season under a new offensive coordinator, Jay Gruden. Still, Doug Marone admitted today that the days of the carry the load running back are over for the Jaguars. That's why Marone says the Jaguars felt okay about making the move just 13 days before the season begins. I just feel like the skill set of the guys that we have being used the right way will be able to give us more production and give us a better opportunity to win games. That's exactly what I feel and exactly what I've seen on tape. Even before these two moves, the Jaguars were not expected to be contenders. If you ask Dave Caldwell to be honest about it, he'd tell you the same thing. But as Mark Brunell says, these two moves, coupled with the trades of Calais Campbell and A.J. Boye and the departure of veterans like Marquise Lee and now Fournette, leaves the Jaguars with very few proven veterans to count on. You're not going to win games unless you have the right pieces in place. Uh, you lost Unique and Gakwe um, and Leonard Fournette now. Uh, you mentioned some of the other players, Calais Campbell. Um, hard to win a championship when you don't have the talent and you don't have the leadership and you don't have the guys that can truly help you win football games uh it's frustrating if i'm a player in the locker room i'm i'm frustrated remember this isn't the first time dave caldwell has stripped down a jaguars roster to start over when he was first hired as the jags gm he purged the roster of everybody that included veterans like daryl smith and greg jones and montel owens who were all not only reliable pros but also the kind of guys you want in a locker room it took five years to build a winning team and that was the only team that the jaguars have had with a winning record since Shad Khan has owned the Jags.